And welcome back guys, welcome back to Let's Play Axis vs Allies. Moving on, we have captured a bunch of good vehicles right here. As you can see, we have the two M3 Stewards, a different camo on each. But I don't believe this is much of a camo, this is mostly because it's a desert terrain. Probability of this being more like a dust and stuff like that, well probability of that being the dust it's much more assurable that it, it is dust not the drug but the actual dust anyway we have a cruiser finally for the first time we are actually in control of these vehicles so we have the cruiser which has the 40 millimeter AT gun at the moment only three crew members inside Hartman is supposed to be the fourth one we barely have any more units to actually give these guys but for the only repair truck that we have has to stay as he is I could try and overlook these positions with the sniper but because I'm very close to the enemy the main main objective there are two other cruisers here if I could attack one each of them from the sides but because this part is pretty freaking open for an attack so yeah, I'm gonna go all of them probably under the left flank and attack them like that. I believe a chance of success is much bigger that way. But first and foremost, let's check out everything around this map. The only thing I'm left here with the sniper and the medic. Medic will follow the sniper. The M3 Stewart, let's see. Okay, this M3 Stewart will follow one of them and will cover their asses. Again, remember that we don't have to worry about ammo, so ammo is no problem. As long as we have our guys inside, that's it. That's only the only thing I have to worry about is my guys being healthy enough to control them, them vehicles. Of course, health-wise, it, it doesn't really matter, but it just means having more units inside that vehicle is much more beneficial than having only two. Again, for a maximum amount of damage, the tips say use the full crew inside a your tank, inside your tank. So at the moment, this M3 Stewart will follow the sniper. The rest of these guys will fall back. Uh, yeah, these guys, that is, will fall back here. Then they're gonna go over here. Because I wanna be sure that they don't screw themselves up while they're retreating to these certain positions. We don't have to worry about the mines at the moment at least. So shift click, and hopefully again the shift click actually works as intended. They do not go, like, into the freaking wall with a cruiser. <laughs> And yeah, again, I, I never knew that these were uh, cruisers. Uh, usually they have a certain certain name to them. But anyway, there is definitely, as you can see, waypoints for this game. Sexy like a beast, they say. And it truly is. <laughs> There's the body of one of our scouts, sadly. <coughs> Let's see what's happening here. Okay, they're, getting, they're having certain issues here. The M3 Stewart is having issues. Both of them, they're having issues on, on this certain plane of existence. I mean, we're hitting actually the the invisible wall, which is not... You can't really go up to this edge, to the blackness of it all. So you have to go like a little bit over here. That's the maximum amount of movement you can have on it. Nonetheless, again, bodies do stay. Do remember that? So that looks freaking cool, right? As you can see, many Germans are dead here. Nonetheless, moving on. From that position on, we're gonna utilize what we have here. It is a sniper with the medic and the M3 Stewart on full crew. That's gonna be quite interesting thing. I just wanna see maybe there are other things to capture, but of course not enough infantry to capture them anyway. So what I have now is probably it for the entire freaking thing. If I can keep these guys alive, I would not mind more M3 stewards in the future. We have no idea if we'll be getting any more better vehicles down the line, except Panzer III Fs. I'm believing at some point we'll be getting, of course, Panzer III's and Tigers, but not soon enough, I believe. Not soon enough. So, yeah, let's get a little bit more here. We're gonna just check out these positions. Maybe there's some more, maybe secret objective, if this wasn't a secret objective. But I do believe this was the secret objective, because we didn't get any call, any call, any uh, objective completed and stuff like that. So I think this is it. If this truly is it, I can easily attack the enemy from the sides and re pillage and burn whoever I want. Because this is gonna be end of the level, anywho, or should I say end of the mission. Uh, yeah, let's just search it up a little bit more and that's gonna be it. If nothing here, we can move down the road here and secure the middle with the steward and the sniper. I believe that's gonna be a quality work as they say in this game. Quality work. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Maybe 
get close to these watchtowers and destroy the guys inside but I don't think that's actually needed at all so I'm not gonna even try to do anything there let's get to the M3 security start hitting from these positions while uh, of course we hit the guys here okay, from this position that is one of their cruisers from the right flank do remember we have the scout here still very important thing mind you still we have the scout we have the sapper that is quite useless but he has a Luger P08 unknown version to us all so let's get of course Hartman out of there visibility accuracy and all of that that's fine with me let's get the cruiser up and running I left the repair truck here that's actually not what I wanted to be honest, I was thinking of following these guys for in case because these guys are going to be searching okay, all this now. <laughs> that is the M3 Stewart and the snipers. I'm going to clear up the entire area in this position towards this main part. I have no idea what's happening there. If we had a scout here, we would be yeah, scouting those like positions. Okay, but as we do not have that ability at the moment, we have the sniper thankfully. So he is as close to the scout and of course very strong unit. We have the medic, hopefully he's gonna heal, let's see. Move to vicinity, return fire, move to vicinity if someone needs a healing. I want him to try immediately to heal the sniper. And hopefully there are no enemy tanks right in front of us. That would be kinda bad, because immediately they would probably notice us here and we would get owned by an enemy improve detection and fire rangers. I don't know why I read that all the time but somehow it gives me hope that we will survive all this. Again the rangers are over here for the steward so I don't really need to get him overly too close but I am afraid of luring the enemy and we're gonna follow this with bad force so as soon as he gets attacked we can heal him constantly if he gets attacked by a tank. Hopefully he won't and hopefully won't be losing any snipers anytime soon because this is the only sniper we have for the entire mission okay actually you go to the right flank here hopefully you don't get outflanked from these positions again remember we're getting very really too close to the center and who knows what the center holds for all of us the market should be full of soldiers there should be some yeah there they are there's one of the machine gunners I'm afraid to utilize this I could put him in a building and do a massive damage run away immediately the his friends will come close or soon at least maybe yeah 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 Bloody excellent hell. thank you Stuart thank you very much great work guys if we can kill these guys off a little by little I I'm not gonna complain this way it works so <laughs> you know what demon is sexy like a beast so let's get I'm afraid of this building it looks like a perfect position for the sniper and as we are the sniper it's gonna be kinda problematic so let's get a little bit closer, a little, little bit closer, and a little bit closer there. Excellent shot by the sniper rifle right there in his face. He died like a little bitch. That was an evil German indeed. Uh, hopefully nobody comes from this position. I don't believe I have a kind of sight towards him so they can just appear from these parts. So yeah, we'll see. Hopefully the medic sees all that. Ah, Nonetheless, the sniper still doing his duty. Call of duty, he's doing his call of duty. Just sniping the living crap out of one man army as they say. Snipers are one man oh, army in these games. <laughs> but I like this. As long as we don't get down. I do want my, all my stewards alive. Especially because of the last part to find these cruisers. Mind you, the cruiser are right here. One cruiser here, one cruiser there. So we have to worry about that. We don't want to aggro them any in any way possible. We want to avoid that completely. But I do want to clean out the house so to speak. If in case some kind of crap happens, I want to retreat freely with free mind of knowing that I can retreat to a safe haven, so to speak, unless the enemy actually flow follows us. And the building is actually full of some evils. Uh, I have no idea exactly what, but it is full of something. Okay, we're exactly there. We can force attack on that building without losing the sniper. And that is what I'm going to be doing. And there they go. As you can see, three riflemen right there. What the hell was that? I mean, okay, there's a sniper in the tower. Take him out. Okay, we're going to be taking out the entire tower. Health points are going down slowly but surely.
Come on, shoot him. Thank you, sniper. Excellent job. Excellent job. I'm gonna destroy completely this tower. I don't want anyone to utilize it in any way possible. So there goes the Tower of Babel. Or Baby Tower. Thank you very much. No casualties as of yet in our troops. Sexy like a beast. Look at him. Sexy like a beast. A true American sniper. A true American spirit, I say. <laughs> I'm gonna save here like a little bit, of course. Uh, let's see. And Q. I'm gonna start all over again because this one doesn't work. And I'm gonna delete probably that. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm gonna save on Q. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on. Let's move on slowly but surely. The sniper action in action. Sexy like a beast, they say, but it is truly a truth to the matter. <laughs> I can't talk now. <laughs> My voice went to shit, so take that as is. Uh, thankfully, no troops inside the buildings, except, of course, that one tower. But in other buildings, they don't do any ambushes at the moment. Strangely enough, you would expect some British drinking tea and stuff like that. But they just don't care. Yeah, I think we're kind of safe for the entire area. Killing that sniper off was a perfect opportunity. Maybe that was a secret objective. There are a lot of secret stuff in these games. In these games it is. Oh, I think Panzer, Codename Panzer Phase 1 also had certain things, amount of things like like special missions, well special missions, special assignments, objectives that you can only see after the mission is done. Stuff like that fall back because we have no support by the M3 Stuart. So at the moment we're gonna just do it like this. Okay, excellent. Now we have a support from M3 Stuart. And M3 Stuart will be able to cover the entire area. Let's look, he's to the range, almost close to the Crusaders. That is the Cruisers. I don't want to aggro them at the moment. I'm gonna be attacking, cleaning this mess out, then attacking them with all the stuff from these positions. Because that way we can kill one by one of those cruisers and without any losses, hopefully. But this way we're just gonna clear out the town and that's gonna be it for us. Uh, do remember, I believe the entire mission is to kill every single enemy inside the town. If I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken but because this is actually a really, really first town, the big freaking Kahuna. I'm a little bit worried to not aggro anything, of course. Uh, okay, I believe, yeah, we're getting close. Not that close, but we're getting close to this crossroad that we have cleared out before. So what I'm going to do with the sniper, move towards these positions. Now, and clean the mess out. Fall back. Your units are under attack. Fall back, I said. Excellent, excellent. Killing them off like nobody's bitch. He has barely any view towards the enemy. So there was that freaking Chevrolet truck of true evil. Almost got owned there. Thankfully we had our medic on the backup. Wow, that was a huge squad of Germans. Quite an evil catch, they say. Quite an evil catch indeed. I don't know if there's a move attack command in this game, to be honest. So, there you go. Nonetheless, bunch of evil British bastards right there. Thankfully, without this M3 Stuart, this would have been much worse. <laughs> and they were so close. Unbelievable. We had like huge amount of stuff passing through these locations. And these bastards were just outside doing absolutely nothing Hello. so this was amazing amazing catch for us this was a perfect victory okay I believe there is absolutely nothing anymore in this time I'm not even gonna search okay I'm gonna start to stand a few bodies do a gangbang roll here with the sniper and that's gonna be it yeah we are we are totally safe in this position now excellent now we can fall back and go onto the main road down here and be sexy like a beast Thankfully, no damage on M3 at all. They were targeting the sniper. Sniper was running. Medic was running also. <laughs> we were all running, but we succeeded. We succeeded. So medics are zero. We only have one medic left. So yeah, there you go. Okay, now let's move in slowly but surely with the uh, stewards. 
Okay, Medic, please move. You're screwing up the pathfinding. Thank you very much. Okay, now you can follow him and do your duty. Okay, I believe there probably are more, a few more enemy units maybe in between the houses. At the moment, I'm not seeing any. So, yeah, there you go. It would be interesting if there were some huge battles in these parts. It would be really Call of Duty like. Two, that is. Call of Duty 1 and 2 are great games. Of course, Medal of Honor. All of Medal of Honor games are awesome, except the newer one. I mean, the new ones, the uh, more sci fi, not sci fi today standards. I mean, the modern shooter bullshit I do not like. Call of Duty, I mean, uh, I'm not even going to talk anymore about it. 1 and 2 were all great games, but. Medal of Honor takes the cake. Medal of Honor has the best music, the best gameplay, just perfect gameplay and the music combined. It's exact game and anyone sh should want when it comes to World War II, right? Perfect gameplay. Okay, that aside, let's move in slowly but surely cleaning up the mess here. Where is our... Okay, the medic is there behind the sniper. The sniper is waiting. I like that there's a massive zoom out feature in this game. So I can zoom out as much as I want to, to be honest. And enough to be honest, to actually control a massive uh, area of the game. Especially when you have a huge amount of troops everywhere. Now I'm not looking at this direction as well because I know that this road has been cleared heavily. We can easily just pass through this position and rejoin with the main team. But we're just cleaning off the town from whatever enemy actually has in these positions. We have not checked these this main part if I'm not oh yes we did yes we did. we know that there's absolutely nothing here so that's it that's it we can easily now move traverse this area and clear out the main objective that we have sexy like a beast so if we have cleared the entire freaking town with a sniper and the M3 steward that's just epic right there epic proportions worthy of the medal of honor right there one man can make a difference well with one more tank and stuff like that <laughs> but nonetheless the i like that the enemy does move towards us if he notices someone is shooting at them so his pals just come around the corner and start Hello. shooting at us also and they're like cool and stuff well, that's just cool let's see daimler has two guys that's enough daimler will utilize the daimler as a meat shield for the bigger ah, tanks that we right. have yeah. let's see that's stewart Okay, let's see, Sapper, you can join the M3 steward now, and you can, we can make a big, big, like, a massive amount of tanks with full crews inside. That's pure mother-humping sex right there, guys. Look at this, look at this. I don't mind that. Again, 40mm 80 gun better than the Panzer II Fs that we had, so that's always a good thing. Okay, now we can move in and do some sniping action maybe or just immediately attack the enemy let's first and foremost save like a little bit we did Q and we're gonna go QW go in order so to speak as because we have already cleared everything we've done everything we wanted we did many probably secret objectives well so that's cool and of course now we need to make a nice a formation of tanks ah oh, that's gonna be kind of you know that's gonna be sucky because again we're getting close to the edge of this map and there's like a maybe a little bit of window here to put all these guys that's gonna be interesting I'm gonna lure the tanks and the infantry towards a defense line here that means that most of my guns will be in the defense like right here let's see yeah like right there so what I'm gonna do here is do that and as soon as the enemy tries to pass through these positions we can just attack them and let's see the yes at perfect that's perfect I believe so what I'm gonna do here is no first turn him over this yes like this and we're gonna do D we're gonna get ourselves entrenched and it's gonna be sexy like a beast and of course let's get Daim Daimler here two guys enough to be honest we could put medic also but that's not unnecessary as again Daimler is gonna be used for hit and run tactics here and luring the enemy actually the scout will be here scouting off the enemy let's see he is on hold position and return fire only I have no problems with that the sniper move here 
medic move here between all these guys. This is gonna be cool. As long as we do this, it's gonna be GG for us, I believe. So excellent. Let's save again. I'm gonna save as much as I want, to be honest. It's gonna be sexy like a beast because I don't like repositioning every freaking time, <laughs> every single unit as I want them. So yeah. Mm, the scout. The scout is almost invisible to the enemy, right? So what I'm gonna do is get him to the left side here, overlook these certain towers, watch towers. The sniper will take out the enemy in those towers, hopefully, and there they go. Sheeson indeed. Sheeson, Sheeson, Sheeson. Can I? Am I able? Yes, I am. The Allied division has been alerted. Uh, I'm afraid of that. So as soon as we attack them, the allied... Uh, okay, we might have to do this very quick. Excellent. Excellent. The, the problem is... Yeah, yeah, there they go. Yeah, this could be that their reinforcement is coming around. That, that, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Uh, there are the cruisers, so we can attack them from the sides. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Hold position, return fire, hold position. Yeah, if the division has been alerted, this could be pose a problem. That means that I'll have to move. I can't, <laughs> I can't stay. So yeah, this is gonna be a problem definitely. The enemy knows that we are here. Uh, we need firstly the scout. We need a scout. Come on, get up. Get up, you douchebag. Okay, let's go. Because house scout, of course, has the massive, massive view range compared to anything. I'm gonna get the sniper down though and get our scout as close as possible. Get the steward a little bit to the left here. Time to do something. Get the cruiser not like that, not like that. The scout come on a little bit closer towards these positions. A little bit more, come on, the cruiser should be able to open fire. Excellent, from the side. Your hero is under attack. What are you guys doing? Like hold position. Oh gods. This is gonna be a problem, guys. This is gonna be a problem. Fire at will, but you heal him. Oh, man. Okay, damaged. Okay, we have damaged something. Okay, we have damaged the freaking turret. So we can definitely screw him over and he's dead. Excellent. There goes him. Excellent, let's get these guys a little bit up front, destroy whatever we can. I think believe we can go through all this. Excellent, excellent. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back. Almost lost one of guys inside the diamond wire. I don't want that to happen as of yet. We are repairing him. Excellent. I think we have to do very to do this very fast. I'm a little bit afraid of the enemy incoming with massive amount of troops. Uh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> Fuck me! Fuck me in the ass, I'm stupid. Follow them and repair them, guys. Come on. Fall back. Fall back. Medic kill. I'm afraid of the enemy invasion. That's the problem. I'm afraid the enemy might get inside and screw us over. We have not destroyed his turret at all. Uh, we lost the. Of course, I lost the thing that I didn't want to lose. Like a freaking M3, yet I was thinking that was actually a Daimler. Like fucking hell, man. Like hell. Get over there. 
Can we oversee the location? Okay, at least we killed off that. We lost one of the infantry people. Fall back. We are losing too much. We can't see the enemy tank. That's the problem that I'm having here. Okay, now he has no sight towards us. I know how he has the sight. Like hell's bells, we're supposed to be the bestest here. But it doesn't really matter. We tried, we failed. A little bit. We failed a little bit. Just a little bit. Excellent. Can we move in and actually capture that? Hopefully. No, there's a watchtower. Okay, let's see now. Are we now able to capture this? Cap this? Maybe, maybe not. No? What exactly is my mission objective here, guys? Exactly. Let's get in scout inside this building. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing. No? Nope. You captured it last. Ed, oh, I did. I was thinking this good thing is gonna go down. What the hell? Okay, we have Great captured. Job, man. Mission accomplished. High command will be pleased. I hope. Victory and victory is ours. We lost one M3 steward, but that's okay. I mean, compared to what we are gonna be getting anyway, we, at least we have a cruiser, much better stuff than the freaking steward. But we saved even a shitty Daimler. So that's a problem. Okay, prestige points 4 of 5. What didn't we do? Capture both supply trucks. Huh. I have no idea where... Uh, supply trucks? I didn't know that. Why would the... Uh, why, wait, supply trucks? What kind of supply trucks? The... Those things we kill those guys inside? Oh, come on, game. Really? Like, who wants those? <laughs> like, why would they take them? There is no, like, value to them at all. Like, honestly, if, the, if you're thinking of the, tar of the freaking trucks that we avoided, like, the where that one truck that was at the freaking station where there were a huge amount of tanks with the M3s and, of course, like, the, uh, and the cruiser, that is. Well, why would they take those trucks? They're shit. Nobody would use them. Why would they waste two manpower on the trucks? There is no point to them. Well, oh well, fuck it. We did secondary, really, of all the things to the game that's like captured that. Go fuck yourself. 85 minutes of this bullcrap. That was bullcrap. Nine times saved. Really? I was really sexy like a beast, it would seem. Nonetheless, next. And the next one is 27 May of 1941? Yes, it is. Okay, wish you all the best, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.